Hey, you ask him, I answer him. Welcome back to the July Q&A, my friends. And as always, when this Q&A ends, if you want to leave a question for me, feel free to leave it in the comments below. But I'm not here to advertise my own video, probably. So let's just go. Let's, let's, let's dive into them. Let's go into the questions. Come on, come on. We gotta, we gotta go. Gamer Letter asks, is Tippy or Pebbles secretly cats from the future trying to change the past? to help the future. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, we gotta go find out. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back, okay? Hello, madam. I see you've just woken up from a nap. Uh, I just have a question for you. Uh, what are the stocks gonna be like in a week? D do you know? Do you know what's gonna happen, Pebbles? No? I don't, I don't think she's from the future, guys. Landon H asks, can you answer this incorrectly? Blue? Joe Fizzy says, hey, another Q&A video. Keep up the streak, Vic. What was a childhood fear you had for the longest time? I think a lot of people can relate with this one. I had one of those irrational fears of like heights, but only like falling off of heights. Not like the idea of being somewhere tall. Cause I can like, I can go on roller coasters, rock climb. I can do all those kinds of things. But the idea of like, standing on a ledge and kind of like looking off of the ledge is like Ugh. Deb Straw asks question should I take down my Crimbus tree or should I just wait it out at this point point?" and you know what Deb I'm gonna say you've had it up already at this point for seven or eight months so there's really no reason for you to take that bad boy down just leave it up there we're probably gonna be inside most of the way to Christmas anyway so why why take the time to set it up again if you already got it out Graydon asks, if you were to get rid of one ranked mode, which one would it be and why? Now, I can already hear people like chomping at the bit being like, hey, get rid of clam blitz, please. And to that I say no, because I'd probably get rid of tower control. I'd get rid of tower control because it's just, it's just a team deathmatch sometimes. But Rainmaker is chaotic. Clam blitz is chaotic. Splat zones is the one that I like, therefore, Tower control's gotta go. Myth asks, if you could have any custom hairstyle in Splatoon 2, what would it be? Hey, I'd, I'd probably just take my Inkling's hair and make it longer. Yeah. They also asked, what was your favorite class in school? And surprisingly, it wasn't math. My favorite class in school was actually chorus. Cause in my school we had chorus like every single day if you wanted to have it. And of course I did. <laughs> So I had chorus every single day from uh, like fifth grade all the way through when I graduated high school. So I was doing a good amount of chorus and it definitely helped shape me as a person and obviously as a singer as well. So it was worth it to me. Blue Boo asks, what is your favorite Splatfest and Splatfest ink color? Mine is Trick or Treat. I really like the family versus friends. Like, not only because of the ink color, just because, like, the theme is kind of nice. Like, no matter what team you pick, it, it probably is at least a little wholesome. Like, oh, I picked family because I really like spending time with my family around the holidays. Or you pick friends, you're just like, I want to hang out with my friends and do chaotic shenanigans. Like, watch anime for three hours in our friend's basement. That's that's what friends do, right? <laughs> Max says, you are now ten feet to your right. How does this change the current situation? Wow, I cannot wait to travel ten feet to my right. Let us go ten feet to my right. Oh, we are going ten feet to the right. We have gone one foot. We have gone two foot. Three foot. Four foot. Five foot up. Oh, we hit the wall. Oh no, I, I guess we can't go 10 feet to the right unless you want to go in the wall or in the dirt. Oh boy. A DHVF asks a question that <laughs> just made me really laugh when I first saw it. They asked, which ad video did you lie to yourself in the most? And honestly, if it wasn't like an early video, like the Clash Blaster ad, it probably would be the first video, which was the Blah Blobber ad. Cause I was running off of like knowing the weapon for all of a few hours and just enjoying it a lot. And I just filled it with like hypotheticals and being like, wow, this weapon paints a lot. Oh my God, look, there are bubbles. And you know what? It worked. Cause a lot of people grew to like the weapon and I did too. The ad videos really served to help people discover what they might like about a weapon. So they'll take it out on the turf and maybe find something they like. And speaking of Splatfest, Joshua Yang asks, question, 
What other two Splatfests do you think they'll do after chicken versus egg? You see, here's the thing about this, is there's only a certain number of Splatfests they can pick from, unless they don't want to do worldwide anymore. Because a lot of Splatfests they did weren't worldwide, like the Unicorn versus Narwhal Splatfest. I... That one is also one of my favorites because the colors are so cute, but they can't do that one because it was only for us and I think like Oceana, like most of the world didn't get that one. That's so sad. I'm, I'm so sorry, Europe, that you had to have the toilet paper Splatfest instead. So what I'm thinking they're going to do is they're going to do a rehash of Family vs. Friend right around Crimbus time and then they're going to do something else in March. So what I'm doing is I'm hedging my bets on the last one not to be Chaos vs. Order but to be knight versus wizard, because they put a lot of effort into making those like important for the amiibos too. So why wouldn't they just do it again? Jackie says, can you please put a picture of a Vivian? Sure, right there. Kyle asks, if you were to go back in time to when you were born, what would you do differently? Okay, so assuming that I can remember what I did before, I feel like the outcome ends up being completely different. Because, like, if you already know, oh, these are the people that I'm supposed to become friends with, all it takes is, like, a couple too many slips, and you can, like, completely mess up everything. So I, I, I feel like I ended up being, like, more cautious than before to, like, befriend the people that I know. But, like, at the same time, I'd be more confident to do stuff like, I don't know, hey, don't leave that flash drive on the floor in the lunchroom, Vic, because you have to go find it. It's going to take two days to find it. Maybe I'd remember to do my homework on time before the school year starts. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to make any, like, really drastic, crazy changes, because I'm kind of happy with how everything turned out. Ooh, ooh, I know, I know, I know. I could not fail three road tests before I actually pass one. That'd be really cool. I could just tell myself, hey, idiot, learn how to parallel park, okay? And that'd be pretty nice. That would save me a lot of trouble growing up, actually. How do I ask an insightful and good question? Uh, well, I guess you could say it's gotta be objectively good. Eh, eh, eh. Jess says, how hard was college for you? And do you have any advice for new college students? Hey, first of all, congratulations on going to college. I know it's kind of different right now, given the whole situation and everything going on, but I hope you feel at least decently prepared. The thing about college is that it really is what you make of it. Pretty much everyone that's going, unless they know somebody or are close friends with someone, they, everybody's going in with the same expectation of, I don't know what's going on. As much as someone prepares for college, there's going to be things that happen that you don't know about. There's going to be events going on on college. There's going to be clubs that you can join. There's going to be people in your classrooms that you never imagined you would meet. And I don't know how like open of a person you are and how much you like to interact with people, but most people in college are pretty chill and willing to talk to you because everyone just wants to get through class without imploding more or less. So don't be afraid to talk to people. It makes the entire ordeal a lot less scary. And then you guys can like both complain about your homework together. Hey! When it comes to difficulty, I had some classes where it would literally be almost all multiple choice answer tests and I'd be like, uh, is this a college class? And then other times where I would barely answer anything in an hour and a half long exam. So, you know, expect most of your classes to fall somewhere in the middle of that. The best thing you can do is go on Rate My Professor and find out which ones are the worst so you can possibly avoid them and make yourself suffer a little less. Unless there's only one of that class. Then you're gonna have to do it, and you're gonna have to ask those friends you made, hey, how did you survive this class? Please tell me, thank you very much. False asks, how do you feel about how far your channel has gone and how influential you are in the community of Splatoon? It's good, and it's bad. It's good, because I know I've helped a lot of people. Or when I see comments from people saying like, Hey Vic, thank you for such and such a video. It made me want to try this weapon, and I'm having a lot of fun. Or like when people say, Hey Vic, this video makes me smile, and it makes me want to keep playing Splatoon and make more friends. Or, Hey Vic, your community helped me find people that now I've been close with for a number of months. Thanks. Like, it's, it's crazy how much influence you can have without actually doing anything on purpose. Like, me just doing what I like, which is play Splatoon and talk to people, and make videos about Splatoon, has changed a number of lives, mostly for the better, which makes me really happy. Sharkbite asks, Question, would you rather be an Inkling or an Octoling for the rest of your life? Well, my character is an Inkling, 
and I think it'd be fun to be an Inkling, but the only thing is that Inklings are kind of like dumb as rocks. <laughs> so I don't know if I'd want to be an Inkling if it means that I gotta like throw away my degree or something. But if I'm allowed to be an Inkling and still be smart, I do love the character design of the Inklings, and I think I would rather be an Inkling. Squibbin says, thoughts on Moray Towers. I don't like Moray Towers very much for most things, but what I do like Moray Towers for is Clam Blitz. Like, completely unironically, I really enjoy Clam Blitz on Moray Towers, just because of how stupid it gets. It's just a team deathmatch where everyone's like throwing themselves at the clam basket half the time to push clams in. It's one of those clam maps where like if the enemy team wipes, you have to like scurry over there if you want to get points in before everyone comes back and drops on you. It's just the way that the map is just makes everything more stupid when like everybody has to push. And I think just how silly <laughs> clam blitz moray matches are and how unpredictable they are just makes them really fun to me. So I like Moray for Clamplets, but I'll pass on like tower control, please. Nerdy Guy asks, is the sploosh matic annoying on splat zones? <laughs> it looks like you already answered this question for yourself. <laughs> the answer is yes. Isaac says, if you had to rename your island, what would your top three picks be? I'd probably name it after some kind of flower. Like, I've really grown attached to the little hyacinths in the game. I think renaming my island to Hyacinth would be really cute. Maybe like Chrysanthemum. That'd be a fun island name. I don't know if that fits. And then maybe for a last one, I would just pick something really silly. Like a cute, like, a cute dessert. Maybe something really random that doesn't make sense, like Flan. Somebody comes to my island, they're like, oh, we're, we're going to Flan? You go over to the island, I've just like knocked down all the trees. It's all dirt. I'm like, uh-huh. Welcome to Flan. The dock is broken, you can't leave now. Ciara says, if you can make a new Splatoon map, what would it be like? I really like the maps where there's a lot of like moving elements, like on the map. So I think I would just want something with more moving platform. It gives like everybody more of a kind of unpredictable playing ground and makes it kind of like reward players that know how to move around a lot. So maybe, maybe something like Museum de Alfonsino. So, you know, it's not too late for Nintendo to bring back more maps, right? We're getting Splatfests until March 2021. They, they can bring back a couple of maps if they want. Maybe Flounder Heights too, if they feel like it, you know? Stupidity, I get your name. I get, I, I get it, I get it. Question says, if you could have a one-of-a-kind Nintendo plushie, which character would you pick? Assuming that Nintendo plushie includes Pokemon, I hope that nothing stops me from just getting like a life-size Typhlosion or something and just having it in my room. Cause how cool would that be? To like walk into your room and you just have like a giant Pokemon plush. I'm picking Typhlosion cause like a life-size Typhlosion I don't think would be too big. I'd probably go and check the size of Typhlosion after I answer this question, but I think that's what I would go with. I just go with a big Typhlosion. Crafting Chaos asks, have you gotten tangy yet? <laughs> no. Cup of Noodles asks, how did you come up with your pet's names? They're really cute. Well, uh, Ziggy was actually named by my sister. Ziggy's name comes from, uh, Ziggs, the League of Legends character. Not a joke. Uh, she doesn't play that character ever, so now his name is just Ziggy instead. <laughs> uh, Tippy, when he was really young, wasn't very good at doing basic things, like being able to walk on ledges. I mean, now he can. He's fine now, so. The name doesn't really make sense anymore, but we still love it. And, uh, Pebbles? I really don't know why we named her Pebbles. I think that was just our mom's choice. She wanted to go for, like, I think, like, a Disney princess or something. We were like, no, 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 no. Let's think of another name. And eventually we got down to Pebbles. Isamar asks a very important question, saying, Pickles? Or Pickles? <laughs> I hope you know the right choice. And then they have this like little relieved emoji. I, I will say pickles, indeed. Dude, dude, the best thing about having pickles is like they're good anywhere and like with almost anything. You can get them in a bag, you can get them in a jar, you can get them spicy if you want, although I've never really had a spicy pickle, but I've heard they're good. <laughs> Enjoy your pickles. Enjoy all. Shy Boy asks, if Nintendo never existed, which would you pick? PC, Xbox, or PlayStation? And honestly, I would go with PlayStation. I actually uh, don't own an Xbox, I never have. And while I do have PC, I actually did have a PlayStation that I used ever since we were young. We had lots of games on it, like uh, Neopets Darkest Fairy, which I always love to mention in every Q&A if I can. <laughs> 
purple sunlight says, has quarantine been treating you all right? Honestly, yeah. I've been working from home, which has let me actually finish a few more videos because I've been saving myself over an hour of driving every single day. Uh, for those that don't know, I do work a full-time job, so driving to and from really didn't let me always get things done. I've been able to start streams a little bit earlier after I get out of work, which has been really cool. So it really hasn't been that bad, and I hope you're doing good too, Purple Sunlight, and anybody else listening to this. The Masoned Witch asks, Do you think Splatoon 3 will have male idols? And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. We've had female idols for two games in a row, and I think what they might do is maybe they'll do like one gal and one guy, because that'll appease all the people that are like, Please, Nintendo, please give us male idols! But, you know, they haven't gotten their wish because there hasn't been like enough Splatoons. But I feel like they'd like, make the audience really sad if there wasn't at least one female idol. So I feel like it's gonna be like one and one. Or maybe they'll do something like, maybe they'll two, they'll have like the two gal pals and they'll have like a special guest that shows up maybe in the news all the time that's also a dude. I don't know. I feel like they have to do something. Or maybe they'll just have three idols and, and they'll be all triplet boys. Splatoon 3. Colton asks, if you had unlimited money for one day, what would you do with it? <laughs> Kickstarter button go. You know how many Kickstarters you'd be able to fund if you had unlimited money? It, I mean, speaking economically, of course, there's a limit to how much money you can give out before money doesn't really have much of a value anymore. But in the time where the money is still worth a lot, I, you know, what stops you from just going hitting the donate button on every charity you see? Going to Kickstarter and starting people's good and not so good ideas? There's just. There's so much you could do with that. I, I don't have to even buy myself much. I don't know, the, the pay off, pay off bills. <laughs> I'd rather just see what other people can create with that kind of money. Captain says, "Question: What, uh, what, what are you doing in my house? This is a robbery. Wait, wait, am I, am I in your house doing the robbery, or are you robbing me in your own house?" Either way, uh, uh, obviously, I, I must have meant to go to the door next door. Uh, I'm just gonna leave now. I'll uh, see you later. Uh, g goodbye. Autumn says, question. So Appleton's Pokedex entry says that the skin on its back is really yummy, and people would have it as a snack. So with those facts, would you attempt to eat Mackenzie the Appleton? I, I mean, if it doesn't hurt the Appleton, there's no shame in just taking a bite. Right? <laughs> Derpington asks, why do you keep avoiding Fire Emblem so much? And, uh, uh, the reason for that, um, is obviously because I just don't have enough time left in this Q&A to answer that question. So, I'll just have to answer it in the future. To ask a question of your own, feel free to leave a comment in the comments below, although that makes sense, it is the comment section, where you can leave some spicy questions and I will probably give you answers that are hopefully decently spicy. I'll see you later. Buh bye Thank you for listening. Oh, and don't forget to drink water. Very important. See you later. <laughs> I think she actually kind of fell asleep with her eyes open a little. <laughs> oh, it's your baby girl. Oh, I love you.